Hey guys, excuse the fact that I look a mess today. Um, I just wanted to do a short video, um, because I have not done a video in a while. Um, I just wanted to show you, um, I rooted Vivian. She's finished. Um, her hair's a little bit messy at the moment, but I did finish her. Uh, she's rooted and... Everything's cut. All that good stuff. Um, let me brush it all out right quick. Get it somewhat under control. Um, the hair that was used for her, I hate it. But um, nonetheless, there she is. It looks terrible, I know. Um, the hair was just, you can literally see every piece that's rooted. And there's some some um, holes where there's two and three pieces of hair, four, maybe five, I don't know. But, um, yeah, yeah so, she's rooted. Um, she's still really cute, I, th I guess, not really. But, um, so, she is rooted. Um, next thing on the list, let's see, uh, my jewel kit that I was painting, he's finished, um, excuse him for the moment, he does not have pants on right now, but, uh, he is super cute, and he doesn't have the, uh, body that I'm selling him in, so, actually, let me just go ahead and take his shirt off, because it's just swimming on him and it looks really stupid. So, there's my jewel kit. Um, let me move my mother-in-law's kit. I'm rooting her at the moment for Christmas. Um, so, here the jewel kit is. Um, he actually turned out quite nicely. I can't lie. I think he turned out really cute. If I can get him to function here. There's his little face. Her little face. His. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it's going to be um, a cute baby no matter what gender it is. But I have to get a different body for him. Because it's just not working out right now with this one. I just stole the bow off of, uh, uh, I feel like it's cuter as a boy, but that's just because that's what I had him as, but, um, yep, there he is, I love his little feet, his little feet are super detailed, um, he is painted with Genesis paints, his toenails, are tipped, sealed, all that good stuff. His fingernails are tipped and sealed and all that good stuff. Um, and then, yeah, um, the stork bite right here on his forehead, I absolutely love. Uh, it just turned out really well. And then he also has one here on the back of his head. Which, I don't know, uh, it looks really red in picture or on camera, but it's really not that bad. So, there's my little jewel kit. So cute, I really might want to just keep him. But I am selling him. I'm going to guess that he probably weighs... Eh, three pounds, four pounds maybe. I don't know. But yeah, so... There's my little jewel kit. Uh, if he's bought as a boy, he'll come home with this blanket. Um, he'll come wrapped in this blanket come home and he uh, will have a magnetic pacifier so yeah but there he is too cute for words uh, I will not be rooting this baby because uh, like I said before, and maybe one of my other videos, I possibly said it. I'm not that great at it. 
so I just I won't be doing that um other good news if you don't want to wait for oh boy uh if you don't want to wait to get magnets that you ordered online Hobby Lobby uh I got these little craft magnets they were $5.99 so I like, and then I got the, actually this piece of felt, which it's actually a fairly big piece. I mean, it, you know, um, and it was 33 cents. They have all kinds of colors, glitter, non-glitter, solid colors, um, zebra patterns, all kinds of stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so yeah, <coughs> this is a 12 pack and I've already used three but I will show you <clears throat> they come they're kind of like burrowed down in there so that they don't stick together and do that but they're just really really tiny ones and like I said there's 12 in each and then they just slide right back easily into this package <clears throat> that I can put down here in my little half fire basket that's where I keep this bag of weighted stuff, which I probably will never use. <coughs> and then I went out and bought, and you can go to Walmart and buy two packs of pacifiers for 97 cents. Um, or you can go to the Dollar Tree and buy one single pacifier for a dollar. Um, I got this one for a dollar at the Dollar Tree, and then I got same. If I can hold them, I got these two. Which are just solid colors at Walmart for 97 cents. Uh, this one I've had because it came with my first one, which I don't really like. I mean, it's just a plain old ugly one. And then I got the sports one for the boy, which is just like the girls' one. Dollar Tree. And then I also got these two pacifiers, which the ones with the designs on them are a dollar set 97, but they're cuter. And there's two in two in a pack. And then I got my E6000 in my little basket. And I got this little Dollar Tree also. Nice and nifty. Um, so yeah, you can make Reborns very cheap. I, I mean, you buy, let's see, a kit, let's just say, Bountiful Baby Kits run from anywhere from $17 to the Reborns, which are anywhere from $40 to $50. That's just the kits. Then you have to buy the bodies, which is about 15 if you buy the cable ties, 9 if you buy the string tie. <coughs> and then you have your paints, which if you're just now buying them, you have about $51 in those. Hair, which it depends on what kind of hair you buy. Mine was about 12 for just this um, lock of hair. Well, and you just want you want to go ahead and spend good money on hair because. It, you're going to get hair that you don't like, and you're going to be like, wow, this is stupid. But for this much hair, which is actually a lot, that's probably enough to root maybe five or six dolls. Um, I got that for about 13, 14 bucks on irresistibles.com. <coughs> Paint brushes. Those can be a little bit expensive. Uh, I've got this one, which is from Hobby Lobby. And these ones are the cheap ones. They're about $5.99 a piece. But as you can tell... Nothing comes out of them every time you pull them. Uh, these two are from Walmart. However, they have never given me trouble with the bristles coming off of them like the other ones in the pack did. Um, these brushes right here with the little grips on them. I got these from Walmart. They're full cart. <clears throat> so those work really well. And then of course my little script liner, which I also got from Hobby Lobby. Very tiny brush. So, so here's my... Oh. And if you use, like to use sea sponges, which I'm not going to lie, I haven't really found the effect that I like for my babies with their modeling. Um, probably because I just haven't used a dark enough color. Uh, this sea sponge with the handle on it. Which... Wow, oh, the label came off. Odd. Uh, anyway, t like $3 at Hobby Lobby. And then I just have a bunch of random tweezers because my grandma likes to buy me nail kits for like them little Dollar Tree generic nail kits for Christmas. So 
I have, um, I just put a magnet in Zora's mouth, and I, yeah, I did just reveal her name. Um, I revealed her on Facebook. She's named after my great aunt, uh, Zora, but my grandma calls her Zari. I don't know why. Her name is Z-O-R-A, Zora. So, little Miss Zora Spencer here. And then I just put her magnets in her ma her magnet. So, um, and I just put the felt right over the magnet because eventually, if you just leave it like this, yes, it works better uh, against the mouth, but... Um, the magnet will eventually start to wear down the, that was not finished drawing, the magnet will eventually start wearing down the paint, and you don't want that, so, I'm gonna have to re-glue this. Honestly, E6000 has just given me more trouble than it has success, honest, it really just has, um, it's really annoying. Very, very annoying. <clears throat> so, anyway, let's do the one that's dry and works. Um, and the magnet does weaken a little bit because of the felt between the pieces, but it still works. And it is still very adorable on her face. She is just too cute with a passy. Oh. Too cute with a passy in her mouth. Um, so I'm going to put her back together real fast, and then <clears throat> I will be right back. Okay, so I'm just finishing up putting her outfit back on, and uh, I just bought this outfit, actually, a couple days ago, um, and some new socks that you guys have not seen yet. Uh, I love big bows on babies, you know how I am with that. Um, I just cannot decide whether, or what bow I like better. I don't know. They're all cute on her head, so. Anyways, so here's little Miss Zora. I'm super proud of her. I love her. And she's got little monkeys on her outfit, if you guys can see those. How cute those are. I actually saw one today when I went into Walmart that was the exact same outfit, but it was for like a, a two-year-old. I was like, oh my god, that's huge, but that is so cute. I mean, I just can't imagine two-year-olds running around in onesies are just... Or little sleeper things like this. They're just too cute. But yeah, so there's little Miss Zora. I love this baby so much. I get her twin brother for Christmas. I'm going to sit you guys down here real quick. That way she can face you guys. I'm actually going to prop it up in my paint bowl, which is literally all my paint stuff. <laughs> So anyway, there's little Miss Zora, and yes, I know that this passy doesn't match her outfit. I don't care. It's still cute. Tell me that she doesn't look just like a baby doll. She's too precious. And I love her posing because her hand, you she can literally just hold your hand or your finger. Her little thumb fits perfectly right there. So, I love holding her. I'm going to love Joey too just as much. Just because he's going to be just as cute as her. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be rooting hair and, uh, her and Joey. Simply because um, I think they're really cute bald. But, I think they'd be really cute with ash blonde hair, too. So the struggle is real. But, um, yeah. So there's little Miss Joey. Or, <laughs> Josie. I have Joey on my mind. Um, my Josie kit. Which is little Miss Zora Spencer now. I'm actually going to make some birth certificates for my babies. Um, I will make birth certificate for the jewel kit that I sent home. I'm going to leave the namespace blank and everything else I will fill out um, and all that good stuff so yeah uh, but anyway um, I'm gonna go ahead and get back to rooting my mother-in-law's baby doll which she is actually about halfway done now at this point just because 
her hair, the hair that I'm using is so awesome. And I know you can't even see the hair. It's because it's an auburn red. But um, she does have a lot of hair already rooted into her head. It's actually about halfway up the back of her head. So. Um, I don't know what that is, but that's too many hairs in one hole. I will have to pull those out later. But you can see it better in this. So she does have red hair. Um, and I've got it up to about here. But here's my mother-in-law's doll. I repainted her with Genesis paint. And she looks a million times better. Um, I have one complaint about the thing that they sent me for my gloss. Uh, they sent me... And don't let me get this wrong. Uh, Aileen's Paper Glaze. Something of that sort. Uh this this is for the gloss for the nails and all that uh, personally I don't like it um, you have to use quite a bit of layers to get it shiny like you maybe like you want it I guess um, I still just prefer the high gloss uh, from Duraclear that I bought it literally doesn't affect your Genesis paints at all never will um, doesn't wash off and it just looks so much better. I actually went back and redid um, Zora's lips today because I felt like they weren't shiny enough. But now, if you can see with a little bit of light we do have because it's been raining all day. Um, You can see she's got just a little bit better of a gloss now. And so do her eyes. I love her eyes too. But there's my little Zora kit. And my little Josie kit. I don't know. I get, I get all their names confused. They're all confusing. But um. Yeah. So I'm going to wrap her back up. And uh, lay her back down. Leave her alone. For now. I don't know why you guys are so sideways. It's a really hard. Um. But yeah, anyway guys, so like, subscribe, comments to my videos, you know, I love it all. Um, if any one of you personally know Jackie Ortiz, or if you're watching this Jackie Ortiz, I would really, really, really love it if you would get back to me um, on how much you charge to root or paint a baby doll's head. It would be fantastic, and um, yeah. All that good stuff. So, anyway, guys, I will talk to you guys later. Probably post a video. I don't know when, but um, I guess we'll see. Probably after Christmas. Uh, should be getting the Cameron kit by Sheila Michaels and the Joey kit. So, when I do, I will post about those. Uh, anyway, guys, like, subscribe, comment, 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 comment. Love hearing your guys' feedback all the time. Bye, guys.